how come you don't tweet? You just you're on you're on, you're on Instagram at James McAvoy Real Deal. Yeah, I, 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 I fu that is James McAvoy Real Deal. That is yeah. That's I, I noticed that loads of people put like the real whatever, the real whatever. So I put the real James McAvoy. But somebody else had it. I was like, who is this other? <laughs> yeah, that's who is impossible. this, who is this real other real James <laughs> McAvoy? But I'm sure there are other James McAvoys out there. Um, but uh, why don't I tweet? I don't know. I guess I don't really necessarily believe that anybody will be interested in anything I have to say. Uh, but they might be interested in a picture of the movie that I'm trying to push or something like that, so that's why I do it. And uh -huh. I always get a little bit like, I want to watch an actor act their socks off. I don't necessarily always want to hear their thoughts on the price of milk. You know, <laughs> exactly, yeah. I just yeah. want to see these uh, good-looking people. Oh, I have a picture that I saw uh, on, on your Instagram, James McAvoy, real deal. Explain this to me, because you're in a Paw Patrol <laughs> sleeping bag <laughs> and, and fully bald. This is... Uh, wh where is this? This, wh this is Jennifer Lawrence's trailer. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, then you just... Montreal, you... Quebec, and I'm watching <laughs> my own film, Wanted, uh, at a point where I'm saying sorry, and, uh, <laughs> and I'm covering myself in Paw Patrol glory. Yeah. Uh, I th uh, look, I got into her trailer, she had Wanted on, and I saw a Paw Patrol doovie, and I was like, it's just got to happen, I've just got to get into this. Just, it, Jennifer Lawrence just owns a Paw Patrol's... Sleeping bag? Yeah, don't ask me why. I think it was something to do with our puppy, uh, Pippi Lawrence stocking. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> Pe was... Pippi Lawrence stocking. Yeah, that's the, that's her girlfriend. <laughs> and, um, she is unbelievable. She man. is. She's one of the funniest people I know. Not just in what she says, but in obviously the way she lives her life well, as well. So she's watched your, your movie, which is a, uh, it's a tricky, pretty tricky movie. It's a completely... Look, we had Paw Patrol, this beautifully innocent, <laughs> no side, no angle, no darkness, not whatsoever. Uh, juxtaposed with simply the most nihilistic, violent, sort of joyfully violent movie I think I've ever seen in my life. So it was perfect. Yeah, yeah it just sums everything up. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you, uh, last time you were on the show, you were uh, promoting Split. And then after you left our show, boy, oh boy, congratulations. That was oh. a home run, dude. Thank you. That was a grand slam. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Critically, it Thank made you. a gazillion dollars. Uh, <laughs> you're, uh, you're now making another movie with uh, M. Night. Yeah. And this is the same character? It's the same characters, yeah. Um, Cur characters, yeah. Characters. Say, yeah. This one's... Spo uh, spoiler alert, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one's called Glass. It has myself playing all the different people that inhabit Kevin Wendell Crumb. There's uh, Samuel L. Jackson coming back playing Mr. Glass. There's um, uh, Bruce Willis coming back playing David Dunn. You get Sarah Paulson. We've got Sarah Annie Taylor Paulson? Joy. Sarah Paulson. Come Annie Taylor Joy from the last one. So it's an incredible cast. Um, and a really, as always happens with Night, it's just a really unexpected and strange turn of events that you wouldn't expect. You might think you'll know what's going to go on because you've seen Unbreakable, you've seen Split, but it, again, it surprises. On and on and on, uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.